here kindly consider subscribing for subscribe and and for the returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content so um i've just decided to do this small video because of a lot of demand on this uh, question on how the structure of a beauty shop should be like and um there are some basic things that are supposed to be in your beauty shop for it to qualify to be a beauty shop and also to improve the sales then you talk on a make yani and also yani yani mtu kingia tu kwa your shop and ona tu ni beauty shop so these are the things that you're supposed to make sure that you put into consideration before you start a beauty shop so without wasting a lot of time let's just jump right into the video so <clears throat> the first thing that you're supposed to uh, have in a beauty shop for it to look that ikaitu beauty shop is glass glass so most of the of the structure of a beauty shop should be glass so this glass will help in displaying your products such that kama we panga hapo subaru black shampoo coconut oils hizo beads kama haujazwekelea hapo juu kwa counter zinaonekana vizuri so basically um if a, a beauty shop has glass kutoka chini mpaka huko juu kwa the counter uh, that will cost around 6000 shillings so with 6000 shillings we'll be able to put enough glass in your shop and then the next thing that you're supposed to have definitely either glass unawekewa wapi utako umewekewa kwa mdf if you know mdf ile inakujanga na kala ya gray kuna white na kuna brown and i always encourage people to always use a white mdf because it always looks so beautiful looks like a girlish as in beauty shop ni mali most most customers in a beauty shop ni wanawake and also white when i make a beauty shop in a car bright you see it brightens the room so white is so cool it's beautiful and also brings a sense of cleanliness if you know you know so mdf itakuwa ya white alafu unacheza cheza na hiyo glass yako ya 6k alafu ndio uconnect hizo mdf definitely will require um what we call chrome pipes chrome pipes ni zile pipes zinakuangaza silver zile zinakuanga circular hizo ni chrome pipes na chrome pipe moja inakuanga so tano so with 4000 shillings ama hata 2500 to 4000 shillings ukona enough chrome pipes by the way hizo chrome pipes zinakuanga very important in terms of security but but if you are going to also do some other businesses that involve money like mpesa or equity agent Normally unajua unaweza incorporate other small businesses into your beauty shop ndio uweze kufanya biashara mbili in one don't use chrome pipes so you can use um this metallic as it is one in these are metal grills so unaweza weka grills kwa sababu grills um mtu aise break in but chrome pipe ni na kuanga nyepesi kidogo so mtu anaweza ivuruta na apite na wewe So we've talked about the glass ni 6000 and then something else that will make your display or your beauty shop pop are what we call strip lights. Okay, so if you need a strip ama ni street but naona kan ni strip sababu inakaanga kama kamba hivi. So your strip ni zile zenye unaanga zinakaa kama zina waka colors different different but I encourage people to always put zile za white so itakuwa ina move kwa shelves zako hivi. So wakati kuko na giza ukiziwasha hizo strip lights na kuanga zikimulika products zako zina pop and also strip lights are also a good form of advertisement yes so we've talked about the glass the strip lights the mdf at least make sure that unacheza na white and then <coughs> chrome pipes tumesema unacheza na 2500 to 4000 you have the chrome pipes mdf unapatanga piece moja ni 3500 and normally you will use around 2 2 mdf in 7k ama 2 and a half they also cut the mdf kitakanusu pia huo nakatiwa so with 10k mdf iko sawa so the next thing that you're supposed to have na ufai kukosa ukikona wakati unatengeneza the structure of a beauty shop are what you call hooks hooks ni zile vitu tutaweka kwa wall and then you'll be hanging your earrings necklaces vitu kama hizo anything hangable kama saa is vitu kama hizo 
So that is hooks. Na hooks by the by the way zina range uh, in price. Kuna normally hook ina kwanga kitu straight and then iko na hook kuna niko na hook tatu kuna niko na hook mbili kuna niko na hook tano so they range in price from 200 shillings to 500 shillings and then something else is an earring stand ile earring stand yenye unaenda ngamali kama dubo isa matao na kuta stand na kama uh, branches za mti so earrings zimehangiwa unaweza hata izungusha hiyo kitu ina cost 1200 shillings na earrings zako unazipanga yani mpaka customer tu hata si lazima customer aguze anazionea tu hapo kwa stand what you want to do is to reduce the chances of kuibiwa so wakati ziko kwa hiyo stand they display so good and like wakati umeziweka kwa kibesi kwa kibesi hata wezi jua ziko ngapi sisemi kwa stand utajua ni ngapi but kwa stand utakuwa umepanga zile zinafanana pamoja but kwa basic umezi mix zote customer hata kingisha moja hivi kwa jacket hautaona so that stand is 1200 in kamkunji that is how much i bought mine um twende mbele what else alafu kuna kuanga ile kitu ina kuanga ina kaa hanga iko na tu peg peg hivi so hiyo ni na kaa hanga i encourage you to buy it um because it will be very very necessary when you will be selling things like handkerchiefs socks sasa so, 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 tutafanya aje uh, something like handkerchief uta display zote hapo nje so you will sacrifice one handkerchief you will sacrifice one bandana you will sacrifice one pair of socks you will also sacrifice one pair of two little ankle socks to dogo to our wasichana tenye ukivana doll shoes hayonekani so hizo utazi sacrifice but utaziweka kwa display hapo just outside the counter kidogo so hizo zitakuwa za kuonesha huyo mwenye amekuja kwa shop yako uko na uko na bandana uko na handkerchief uko na socks na uko na that ankle socks so that displaying is very important na usiweke zile zingine hapo kwa sababu zikikuwa exposed hivyo huwa zinaanza ku fail so hata kama utakuwa ume ume sacrifice hizo zinyume hang hapo bado zile zingine zenye zitakuwa zimebaki zita bring profit hata zile hazitakuwa zikikusumbua hata zikikapo mwaka mzima that is why you can kwa shops zingine unakuta ambao wamehang vitu tu hapo kwa mlango zingine hata they don't care even ukienda kwa in, kwa kwa shop inoza uniform kuna ile uniform wana kwangu wameka hapo nje hiyo wame sacrifice ya ridike bora tu customer ajue iko yeah now let's go to the next point something else that you should have hapo kwa kwa counter yako sitakuwa umetengeneza MDF vizuri mpaka iko na mali penye pana ka table hivi so hapo kwa table what you put there ni mkebe iko na uh, zinaitwa nini i pencils utakuwa na hizo i pencils both zile short na zile refu zile za dirty book alafu pia utakuwa umeweka zile uh, lip balm kuna lipsticks kuna foundation so hizo ni vitu zenye unaweka hapo juu make sure that you are using uh, containers that are very elegant yani kila kitu ikwe tu supu kama hiyo ya kuweka i pencils at least ikwe golden ama silverish or a very beautiful plastic i have done another video ile ya du bois ni muonesha kuna ma fancy fancy uh, plastics zenye unaweza use ku store i pencils hizo vitu zote anything that is supposed to to to, to be used to when you're doing makeup hizo zote unazi unaziweka kwa hiyo display so pia utanunua zile containers za plastic zenye ni clear kama zenye wale watu wanazungusha ngao melon wanakuanga nazo hivi so unanunua hizo unaweka beads ndio siweke beads mchanganyiko zile beads za bob bob unaweka hapo kando hizi beads za five bob kando hizi za ten bob kando za mbao kando hivyo hivyo so utakuwa na tu container make sure that at least uko na containers zenye zinaweza pangwa hii iko chini nyingine juu hivyo hivyo so utazipanga in that order so you can, you can buy zikiwa big medium small hivyo so make sure that beads are always kept in clear containers customer anafaa kuona chenye kinaendelea hapo ndani something else kamba kamba utapitisha kamba moja kutoka hii kona mpaka ile kona nyingine ya ku ya kuweka sijui kama mnajua zile vitu mama mwana wanaikanga kwa nywele hapa hivi nashikilia iko na kimaua cha red maua ya papo maua inakaa kama manyoya za kuku 
hizo vitu huwa zinaweka kwa makamba hivi hapo juu so customer si lazima aguze so utakomeka moja moja si lazima hata kamba ipite mpaka kwa mwisho just a small distance but you are displaying all the types of clips in your shop so that way customer kitaka clip si lazima akuja kulize and sometimes customer anakuanga hata hataki hiyo clip but sababu anaiona hapo juu anakumbuka by the way nimekuanga nikitaka clip so displaying is very important ndio kama customer alikuwa amekujia perfume anaona hiyo kitu ume display anakumbuka alikuwa anaitaka so that is the importance of display okay something else almost the last one um deco kwa na zile chats zenye zinakujanga na nywele inaonesha vile hoti inakaanga mtu akishukwa inaonesha vile habesha utakao kishukwa inaonesha vile ukijipaka makeup za black, black opal utakaa aje inaonesha vile eyeshadow na pop and make sure that you, at least you have hiyo kitu me display kwa wall iko hapo kwenye unaoguzia so kama ni hizo vitu kama hoti si inaonesha vile mtu ameshukwa hizo chats then you should be having hot at least kasoma kikuja amechanganyikiwa anataka kushukwa nini mwambie by the way unaweza kasa na poa na hiyo hot hata kama unaona kama hataka vizuri boko biashara and then i just hope si just how kitu kingine ukwe na mkia ya ngombe always make sure that uko na mkia ya ngombe kutoa dust 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 kwa beauty shop yako and always wipe your cosmetic or beauty products almost every day kwa sababu vitu kama lotion so hizi tolea mtu vaseline lotion ikiwa na dust so always make sure that you have akakitamba always wipe kama haina maji kwa sababu ukiwipe na maji zile maandishi zenye zinakwanga hapo juu they tend to fade away when you use a very damp cloth so unaweza tumia kitambe ni kwa dry na wipe wipe na wipe wipe and then vitu kama mawives manuele zenye ziko displayed on the wall unazi unazichapa chapa na ile nini ya masai that way hautakuwa na lot of dust ile ni unaweza kumi ya cha like five days i hope that that makes sense um and last but not least you should be having a bucket and a mop like me i mop like three th- two to three times a day yani beauty shop pia kiwa safi inavutia customer so that is basically what i wanted to share if i remember something else that i might have skipped uh when doing this video i will come back with another video i hope that you have enjoyed watching this video up to this point and also make sure that you like 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 this video the youtube recommend what wengine pia wengi waweze ku watch and also comment share na kama hauja subscribe siju na ngojiani mshwali subscribe uh because that is how you are supporting me here on youtube so um see to close your video from that point have a nice day